This witch means it, Kay. I will do whatever evil the dark side wants me to do in order to ransom Endora. And if you want your hunkalicious Miguel back with her, then you better never interfere with my misery-making ever again. I'm sorry, okay? I couldn't help myself. I just don't like seeing innocent people suffer. Then you better move away from my bowl. <laughs> because I have made fancy walk in on Sheridan and Luis doing push-push. No, I kept fancy from seeing Luis and Sheridan in that sleazy hotel. Maybe I can do it again. You better not, Kay. Kay, we have a deal here. I fixed it so you wouldn't be charged with Jake the Cop's murder. And in exchange, you said that you would not interfere with me doing wicked woo-woo to get Indora back. I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. Well, you better hope you were too damn late, or I will see to it that Maria grows up without either of her parents. I mean, I know what happened. How did this happen? I, 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 I don't, I don't know, but... Oh, my God. Fancy. Could you, Luis? <sighs> Who cares? The point is, he did. And you saw us. <laughs> you know it, dear. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. The point is, I did it. I broke up. Fancy and Louise using Sheridan. <sighs> the ransom for Andorra and Miguel is paid. They'll be coming home, okay? I'm so sick to my stomach. It can't be for making mom slit her wrists. Ray bled a lot more than that. So that bartender. Well, I'll eat something. Sit on my stomach. As soon as I make sure that mom is dead. Bye and good riddance. This is what you get for letting Alistair take me the night I was born and turn me into his own personal killing machine. Oh, I'm so nauseous. What the hell is wrong with me? How dare you threaten my family like this? Huh. Honey, it's easy. I mean, think about all the money I am going to save the government on food stamps. <laughs> you are an evil woman. Pure evil, Rebecca. Now, now I'm a mother. And I'm trying to look out for my daughter. I want Gwen to be happy. And Gwen needs Ethan to be happy. So if I have to threaten you to get rid of Teresa, that's what I'm going to do. If I can't get Gwen to sign those papers to get Jonathan the treatment he needs, my son could die in there. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but I don't want you to worry, okay? Because we're going to convince her to sign those forms. I mean, even if we have to knock her out and forge her signature, Jonathan will get the help he needs. Ethan? Julian, what do you want? Well, I came back here at risk to life and limb to find out how the baby's doing. I wanted to give Eve some good news about his condition. She's absolutely devastated that she accidentally overprescribed his fever medication. Look I, look, I understand that Eve made a mistake. But that uh, mega dose of acetaminophen that was given to my son has caused him liver damage, Julian. God, no. If he isn't treated soon, he he's going to die. I had no idea the situation was this grave. Well, it has become grave. And on top of everything else, Gwen won't give her consent so that the doctor can actually treat Jonathan. Why? 
She thinks that uh, the doctor's going to make things even worse. I suppose it wouldn't help matters if I asked Eve to speak to Gwen. Julian Gwen would probably kill Eve if she saw her right now. And i got to be honest with you, I don't know if I'd stop her. I know how upset you are, Ethan, but you really must... You must know that Eve would rather take her own life than to see your son lose his because of a mistake she made. Julian, Eve's guilt is not even on my mind right now. My mind is on my son in there. All right, well, if, uh, if you need anything... Thank you, but please, please just go. You know what? Maybe if we if we go to her as, you know, as parents, we can convince her to give her consent to treat Jonathan. Stay out of my business, Teresa. Jonathan is my son. You have no say whatsoever in his medical care, and frankly, neither do you. I will decide what is best for Jonathan. Even if what you decide kills him. appeared to me and asked me to join him in death. Oh, God, what was I thinking of cutting my own wrist? Oh, God, what is wrong with me? It's a good thing I didn't cut any deeper. God, I could have bled to death. going crazy when I start doing the bidding of my own hallucinations. Oh, well, maybe I should run some tests and try to figure out what the hell's wrong with me. Good thing I'm not afraid of blood and needles. <laughs> See, Mom? You and I had something in common after all. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's better. One more sip ought to do the trick. Mm. Oh, Mommy loves you. baby. Oh, Jonathan. God, I nearly killed that little baby, prescribing the wrong dosage of medication. Or did I? Wait, Vincent said that he did it. No, oh, but Vincent's dead, so, so it had to have been my fault. Oh, God. I almost killed that poor little baby. Poor, innocent little baby. Don't do it, Eve. Don't drink. Well, I'm not, Julian, and I'm gonna stop. Right after I calm my nerves. I almost died tonight. I mean, how pathetic would that have looked if I was found dead after slitting my own wrist. 
The longer you fight me on this, the longer Miguel will be tortured by his captors. Tortured? You never told me that. Yes, I did. Your beloved is a prisoner of evil, my dear. He's on the menu at Hotel Hell, the all-they-can-eat buffet. <gasps> Don't just stand there and do more evil! Fancy. Uh, <clears throat> I know what this looks like, okay? You mean but, what this is? Yeah, um, I clearly should have knocked first. And you came by because... I thought Luis should know there's been another murder. What? Jake Olson, the officer who was assigned to keep an eye on Esme, was poisoned. Oh, my God. He died in her bedroom at the mansion. Well, hold on a second. Do you realize that this is the third guy that's died that Esme has been with? Yeah, she doesn't understand why this keeps happening to her. Maybe she's into killer sex. Esme is not a killer. Do you need help with the investigation? No. No, I just thought you should know about Jake. All right, hold on a second, no, Fancy. Just don't, wait, wait. Luis. What you do with your personal time isn't my business anymore. Hold on, you don't understand, okay? I love you, not Sheridan. Really, Luis? Then why did I walk in on you having sex with my aunt? When I think about how horrified the citizens of Harmony will be when they find out what you are truly capable of. Oh, that makes me giddy. It does. And now, now I have the ultimate weapon that I can use against you. Who you knew? The truth. The horrible truth. And if you do not keep Teresa away from Ethan, I will use it. And you and your entire family will be killed. I mean it. You stay out of my business. My son is none of your concern. Teresa is just trying to help. Help? This bitch killed my Sarah. And if she would have just let well enough alone, Jonathan would still be at the mansion on his way to getting better. But no, you let her convince you to bring him here where Eve almost killed him. It was my decision to bring him here. And there's plenty of guilt to go around about this mix-up in his medication. The point is, Jonathan's sick. And we need to get him the treatment he needs so we can undo the damage to his liver. Now, Gwen, please, you just have to sign the damn consent forms, okay? No, I am not going to authorize any more medication for Jonathan. I'm going to take him home where I can take care of him myself. No, you're not. No, Gwen, listen to me, listen to me. You're not taking him home. Our boy's life is at stake in there. He's sick. We need to give him medicine. And if we don't get him the medicine, the doctors say he's going to die. Don't do this to our son. Give him the help that he needs. Please, just sign the consent forms, please. I am begging you here. Do it. I didn't know Miguel was being tortured. I just thought the dark side was, was holding him in limbo with Endora. Oh, dear. It's one bone every minute. Hey, you could have told me this back when you were talking through Timmy. What are you babbling about now? Oh, don't act like you don't know that Noah and Paloma found your Timmy doll in the attic. How dare those two snoops go poking around in my attic? Yeah, well, the doll told them to look in the magic bowl to help Miguel. Only it was you using Miguel as a ploy so they would get the bowl out and you could zap Luis and Sheridan into making love and... Hurt fancy. No, 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 okay. No, as much as that sounds like something I would do, that wasn't me. Well, the doll said bloody hell, just like you do. Oh, believe me, on, on my love for Endora, I, I would never exploit my precious Timmy like that or sully his memory in any way, no. No, I believe you, but if, if you didn't use the Timmy doll to give those warnings about Miguel and Andorra, then who did? Waste not, want not. Only I want more. I know I must have another bottle around here somewhere. Eve, you promised to stop drinking. I have stopped until I find more. 
Spoken like a true alcoholic. I am not a drunk. I'm just upset because I overprescribed Jonathan's medication. But no, I didn't. Vincent said he did it. Vincent is dead. Oh. I guess I must have done it. Though, I mean, I didn't even have a drink till after I left the ER. I mean, it's not like the first time where I, I wrote the prescription drunk. I feared there would be trouble. Well, you were right. As Vincent is haunting me. I, I thought he was alive, but even he says he's dead. And I almost joined him. Eve, you're better than that. You're stronger than that. Oh, shut up, Julian. I need a drink. You know, Grandfather made me learn a lot of stuff I didn't see the importance of. Like, uh, how to survive in the wild, how to embalm a body, how to choose a fine wine, how to do a spreadsheet, and, uh, how to perform my own medical test. Shouldn't be, uh, too long. Here we go. Mom out of the way now I can focus on killing you, Dad. Maybe Valerie should love you to death. Oh. Oh. Oh, but make no mistake. I'll think of a way to kill you before I make myself sicker than I already am. Oh yeah. Make no mistake, Papa. You're a dead man walking. Well, the news about Jonathan is Promise me she'd stop drinking. What kind of fresh hell she'd find herself in running around this hospital drunk. She'd call security, have her corralled before she hurts us. No, I can't call security. They know what's going on. The whole hospital will know about his problem. I have to find it myself. What happened here? God, no. Eve couldn't be so depressed over misprescribing the baby's medicine. She attempted suicide. God in heaven. I'm going to do what I think is best for my son. And what is best for him is to come home with me. When? No. Ethan, yes. No. Yes. Jonathan was fine until Teresa convinced you to bring him here, where he received an overdose of medication that he didn't even need in the first place. So, no, I'm not going to okay for him to get more drugs to undo what the first drugs did. I'm sorry. Jonathan is coming home with me. Oh, baby. Your mama knows what's best for you. I can't lose my only son. I can't lose him. You won't. You won't lose your only son. Come on, come on. I could die of old age before you tell me what's making me sick. <sighs> it was easy convincing Mom to slit her wrist. And the best part is, Chief Bennett won't be looking for her killer. Question is, how do I do you in, Dad? You could be in a fatal elevator accident. Uh, the brakes on that big car of yours could fail. Or you could be the 
innocent victim of a random shooting. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. But one thing's for sure. You will die at my hand. Oh, Eve, where could you be? You've fallen down a stairwell for all I know. Maybe you went to the commissary to get more coffee to sober up. You'd be anywhere. Any one of these rooms. Well, who besides you has supernatural powers? I mean, who else could, could make the Timmy doll say that Miguel and Dora needed help? It wasn't Esmeralda. She would have appeared herself and did her the floating head. Maybe Timmy made his doll talk. Yeah, that's possible. Timmy did come all the way from heaven once to give Endora his blessing. And it's natural he would be distressed by her plight. Uh, Miguel's too, for that matter. You know, your bow was very sweet to Timmy once he became a mortal. Could Endora have gone through Timmy? Well, anything's possible. Even evil itself could have used Timmy to confuse us. Yeah, I mean, that voice was just really creepy. Well, who or whatever it was, I'm not taking any chances. I'm just going to continue causing pain and suffering for mortals to ransom Endora and Miguel. No, Tabitha, you, this has to stop. Fancy, I mean it. I mean, I... I have no idea how Sheridan and I ended up together just now. Oh, come on, Luis. You must have a clue. We bored? Horny? Was there nothing to watch on TV? No. No, it just happened. Oh, it just happened. Well, in that case, go to hell and bring Aunt Sheridan with you. I have had my fill of finding you two together, either with a lame excuse or none at all. No, fancy. Wait, wait. Would you, would you wait a second, please? Please. please. What? Don't tell Fancy about Marty. If my father finds out that we know he's alive, he'll hide him from us forever. Oh, More you... whispering. And you wonder why I've had it. Please, Fancy, just trust me. I love you. Even though you were making love to her just I... now. Would you just, please, just trust me. Hmm, let me think about it. Um, no. Are you crazy? Not after finding you and Auntie in bed together at the hotel. And now here... I can't deal with this anymore, Louise. I won't. No, 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 Fancy, just wait, wait. Please, come on, please, don't go after her. God. Because the only way you can explain why the two of us have been together so much is to tell her about Marty. If my father finds out that we know he's alive, we'll never see him again. So please, don't go after her. Come on. Okay. If Louise comes after me, I'll know he loves me. And if he doesn't, I guess he'll be fancy free. Look, Rebecca, I accept that you and Gwen control me now. But you must accept that I can't always control Teresa. If she decides to tell Ethan that he's little Ethan's father, there is nothing I can do to stop that. Well, yes, there is. You could kill her. What? I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I mean... Just consider it a preemptive strike. You vicious bitch is what... Eve? What? Ugh, you reek of booze. What? Hey, put that down! Give me that! What? You need help, Eve. I need booze, but I'll settle for pills. Oh, my, Eve. Well, you can just consider yourself off Jonathan's case. Well, I'll drink to that. Dear Lord, I've never seen her like that. Me neither. Uh, but that quack whore is the least of your concerns. No, no, no. Let's get back. Keeping Teresa from telling Ethan that little Ethan is his son. Look, I already told you, I can't guarantee her silence. What? Well, you can if you kill her. You're just out of your mind, Rebecca. You know, for someone whose life is no longer their own, I mean, you have a real attitude problem. 
I know how to solve it. You could work for me like you did for Ivy. Oh, that would be so great. I mean, you could shave my legs, you could shake my martinis, you could clean my toilets. But first, you gotta get rid of this attitude. I mean, Bilar, I know who you really are. And you, you, my friend, are not a saint. You are exactly what I always thought you were. Nothing but trash that floated across I am the... warning you, Rebecca. Oh, and your threats are going to mean anything to me? You mean nothing to me. You are garbage. You are trash. Stinking you garbage. Trash. 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 You know, maybe Rebecca can convince Gwen to sign those forms before it's... Oh, gosh. It's coming from Jonathan's cubicle. Oh, my God, what's happening? Dr. Jonas, hurry. We're losing him. God, what have you done to my boy? They haven't done anything, Gwen. You won't let them. Eve? Eve, are, are you in there? Damn it. If Father can't know I'm alive, it'll ruin my plans to kill him. This is a bit of a mess. I wonder so many DNA tests are flawed. I can't go on looking for Eve alone. Look in Mom's office, you fool. You'll find her. Dead. Mr. Carey, this is Julian Crane. I'm hunting for Dr. Eve Russell. Does she, uh, does she appear on any of your cameras? If she's not in her office, I checked. I see. You have my cell phone number. I want you to call me if you, uh, if you happen to spot her. Thank you. Eve, where can you be? I've used Cheriton and Luis to cause fancy pain, so where are they? Where are Endora and Miguel? Hello there. Hello! Witch here wanting her daughter back. Yeah, and I want Miguel back too. Yeah, I know there's no one down there. None of you demons are there. But I assume that you have some sort of call forwarding. Look, I have fulfilled my part of the ransom, so now it is your turn. say that fancy hasn't suffered enough. Oh. All right, I will twist ye oldie knife a little bit more. Some of these demons just are never satisfied. Tabitha, that? no, okay? There's got to be another way. Shush up, Kay. Stay out of my evil business, or I will frame you for that poor cop's murder. I hate this. Yes, well, I hate it too. But I'd hate it even more if we never see our loved ones again. Luis comes out here after me, although he really loves me. We can still be together, despite his being with Aunt Sheridan. <laughs> Don't count on it, honey. Sheridan, just chill out, will you? Got to explain to Fancy why she keeps finding us together. No, 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 no. You cannot tell Fancy about Marty. No. No, I can, actually, and I will, because if I don't, I'm going to lose her for good. Yes, that's right, Luis. You will lose fancy for good this time. For our good. Oh, what are you doing? Just hold on. It could be Spike calling about Marty. Yeah, right. Hello? Oh, my God. Is it Spike? No. It's Marty. What are they doing to my son? Try to keep him alive. No, he would be fine if he were home with me. Excuse me. Is, is, he, is, is he okay? Jonathan is stabilized. For now. I need to get him out of here and away from you people. Be reasonable, Miss Hotchkiss. Your son needs to be treated for the overdose of acetaminophen he received. My son needs to get out of here. Please, try to get through to her, Mr. Winthrop. 
Your son is running out of time. I'm trying to get through to her. She's looking at me like I'm crazy. She's concerned. We are all concerned. Now sign the damn consent forms, please. When he would be begging you if it wasn't what's best for your son. You! Oh, you bitch! I'm gonna kill you for what you've done! You think a doctor would know how to slit her wrist and die. But no, not my mom. She can't do anything right. Julian Crank. Which camera did you spot her on? Fine. I'll take it from here. Oh. Oh, I worry about killing my parents. As soon as I try to figure out what's wrong with my stomach. Allie's had a lot of stress at work lately. Maybe it's finally gotten to her. I'm nervous making me nauseous. I'm sure it's enough on the pill won't fix. Finally, my test results are ready. Time to see what's what. No, no. Why? This, this can't be right. Is that really Marty on the phone? Are Luis and Sheridan going to get him back? Wait, is Fancy going to be left out in the cold? Oh, so many questions, Kay. <laughs> Stay tuned, as we say in TV land. Oh, we're not on TV. Are we? Just be quiet, dear. I am closer than ever before to getting Endora and Miguel back. I just wish you would stop. And I wish you would back off, as you promised you would. All right, all right, just hurry up and get this over with, okay? Because watching Fancy's misery is making me miserable. Are you seeing this wherever you are? Fancy is, is bereft, crushed, devastated, ruined. I've done my part. Now, please send us back our loved ones post-haste. What did you just say? It's Marty. Our son is on the phone. For real? For real. Marty, say hi to your daddy. Hey, son. It's me, it's your dad. No, he's lied. He doesn't love me anymore. He isn't coming after me. I'm not gonna clean your toilet, Rebecca! I'm gonna chop you up and flush you down here! I'm not gonna get this. What was I thinking? You were thinking that the government would pay for a public defender to get you off my murder. But your true and violent nature is finally coming out, and I am loving it. Because after years, years of you insulting me, calling me names, all because I am trying to help my daughter, well, it turns out that you are the same as me. Yeah? Oh, actually, no. <sighs> you are worse. Far worse. And I can prove it. So you... Keep Teresa from telling Ethan that little Ethan I is know. his son. I know. I know. You'll reveal my secret, and certain people will find out, and me and my entire family will be killed. I know. No, no. No, wait a minute. That, that... That was the plan. What do you mean, was? Well, I just realized, I mean, we don't need you to keep... Teresa, away from me, then we can do it ourselves. How? Oh, my God, it is so simple. All I have to do is make one phone call. 
you know, call down Mexico way to you know who. <laughs> and now you and Teresa and your entire family will be killed. And then we don't have to worry about any of your refried relatives ever again. I'm just trying to help Jonathan. When Teresa is trying I'm to... I'm going to kill you! I'm going to kill you for what you've done! The medication that you prescribed for my son almost <laughs> killed him! Go ahead, stop! <laughs> Mother of Pearl! What is that thing? Is that the floating head's version of being in disguise? Oh, it's, it's moving towards Timmy and Adore's pictures. Timmy, Timmy, is that you? Oh, oh I can't believe it. What? That, that, that ball of pure white energy is Adora's essence. Oh, she's coming down. She's coming back here. You hang in there, son. Mommy and I are looking for you. We love you. We'll find you soon, we promise. You hear that? We'll be back together before you know it, okay? We'll finally be a family. You, me, and Daddy. <sighs> it's really over. Luis is back with Aunt Sheridan. I've lost him. I have lost Luis forever. No way these results can be right. No freaking way. I must end in the wrong code. These antacid tablets are a waste. They can be more nauseous than I already am. Come on, come on, come on. Get the results right this time. Oh my God. The results were right the first time. I'm pregnant. What is the country code for Mexico? Please don't, Rebecca. Please. Oh, come on, Pilar. I'm having so much fun torturing you. You're una maldita mujer. Ah. That is no way to speak to the lady who owns you. Lady, my ass. Ah, careful. Remember where you are. Right under my thumb. How can I possibly forget when you keep reminding me? Good. Just remember to keep Teresa away from Ethan. Or you and your entire family will be dead. Comprende? When get off! My son was fine until you poisoned him! Would you keep your hands off of her? She made a mistake she didn't mean to come in. Oh, God, I would never hurt a baby! Well, you did, and now you're gonna pay! No, you! Ah! I'm gonna kill you, Eve!